Hey folks and welcome to another episode. Now this is kind of different from the usual stuff that I do. Uh, this is some sort of tips to how to stream to YouTube, Facebook and which using Streamlabs OBS. Now I've been struggling with this uh, program for a while because it doesn't want to display my uh, my screen. I'm gonna show you. Now if you watch my, um, my Arduino streams and my streams in general, I use this program to do it all. But it took me a while before figuring out how to actually um, you know, I share my screen. As you can see right now, my screen is black and this is, I think, the problem that you're having, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna show you through the steps and how to actually fix this. Now, normally people will just tell you to run it with integrated graphics. This is, does not work for me. Uh, I think, you know, this will work for some people. Try it. If it does not, then keep following these steps. It's not gonna work, right? Okay, some people just tell you go to your um, graphic panel and then configure Streamlabs uh, to open with the integrated graphic cards. Now, I'm gonna tell you a spoiler alert, this is not gonna fix your problem, probably because it didn't fix mine. As you can see right here, I have Streamlabs OBS and select preferred graphic processor for this program auto select integrated and as you can see it doesn't work now what it work is you go here you go oops you go here you go to the device device manager you go to display settings this one right here and you will have most likely two graphic cards the one that is by default and the one that is um, for high tasks and video games so you are gonna disable this I know some people will freak out don't freak out, just wait a second. Then you open your Streamlabs. It is going to open. Now your display will show up. Thank me later. Then you can go and enable this because when you're streaming, you stream video games. Uh, so you want to use this to run your uh, video games. Now, as you can see, you have my screen. And of course, um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. This, these are my scenes for my streams. Of course, I have uh, images. I know I misread that. Uh, I have music and that kind of stuff. Of course, we are not going into details to how to configure this because there are tons, tons, tons of videos on how to make the scenes, how to download them from the theme and that kind of stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna give you an advice. If you don't see this, you actually need to log in on your stream labs before you actually have the scenes and from here you can choose a lot of scenes now this is actually over the the goal of this video okay i hope you like this video i hope this can help you stay home in the quarantine and can help you start your business so yeah put this video a thumbs up and see you in another video peace